Okay, I wanted to uh, show you this box I made. This is for the uh, Arduino controller for the top rotation. And you could actually use this box for like the spin indexer or anything that requires a Arduino with the shield. And um, what's unique about this box is that you can adapt it. Because uh, what I did here was I put these uh, little threaded inserts in the bottom so I could bolt it down to something. And I got this uh, insert. Well, let me put you up here. I got this insert from uh, Ace Hardware. It was 95 cents. I bought three of them. It's just a brass threaded insert. This is for a uh, 10, 1024 I think it was. But uh, I put two in the bottom of here. I just drilled a couple holes and epoxied them in there. Now this slot I put in here wasn't supposed to be a slot. It was supposed to be a, a louvered type thing. And I put this on an angle and I put an end mill in there and tried to make a slot. And it was too thin it didn't actually make the louver kind of thing it just uh, made basically a hole but I'm gonna cover that up because I don't want any debris getting in there but I got the two ports for the the UBS cable and the charge cable so you could just plug a A wall mounted power source in fact that's was the original plan but then I decided to go a different route but um, I won't say it's unique but the nice thing about this is it's got nice big buttons now I wish I would have had this when I had the spin indexer so I wouldn't have to go through all the trouble of cutting holes in that plastic box and making all those mounts and this and that and but uh, let me explain about these buttons first. So what I did here was on the uh, the shield. You got the the plate, which has the uh, LED screen on it. Then below that. you have these buttons there's one there one there so I went on that uh, Tinkercad and I tried to uh, 
look for a a box that I could make that was already done and they only had like a couple of boxes on there but it wasn't it wasn't what I was really looking for they didn't have this stuff on it but anyway these these buttons what's unique about these buttons is these are the this is like the original button that is on there and what I did was when I made the hole for the button I shifted it over So I shifted the hole over so only a little piece of the button was going through the hole and when I made this part this is a piece of aluminum here these are aluminum and when I made those There's like a little flange on the bottom. It's like 50 thousandths. And I think the height of this. Uh, what was that? Uh, well, I don't remember the height of that right now. But the flange on the bottom of the button comes out. And it, and it rides on that, the original push button. So it's uh, kind of like an eccentric kind of thing going on here. With this being the original button, I moved the hole over. Let's say this was this one. I moved the hole over so I could put a bigger hole in there and still have this flange part on the bottom contact the button. So that's why they're nice and big. And of course, the, the hole for the screen, that's just the uh, size of the screen. And this piece here, I got this piece that sticks out. And I made that. hollow inside and I had to go in there and dig out the uh, the little spacers that the uh, 3d printer puts in there the supports so what I would the only thing I would change on this is that I would make this open with a wall thickness on here and a little uh, screw hole in the corner four little mounting screw holes and I would eliminate the top of this cover and make that two pieces which is kinda what I ended up doing here this piece of aluminum see what this little thing that fits in there has a nut on the back side so I had to go in there and I had to hollow that hollow that out from the inside take those supports out of there and the plan was to put the nut 
on the back side of here, but I really couldn't get to it. I thought I would have a hard time, and I really did. So that didn't really work out too well. So I, I roughed this surface up, and I made this plate, this uh, 1 8 aluminum plate, and I put a thread in it. It was a 5 8 uh, 18, I think it was, 18 or 24, so that this piece would screw into here. And I just cut a slot so I could slip it over the wires, and then this would just screw onto that plate, and that would hold it in place. Now, like I said, I would have I would have made this open if this if this was the box, and this was the piece coming out. I would have made this open. To put four little holes in here and that way you wouldn't have to go in there and dig out all that support material that's holding this this one side up and then I would have made a cover like this probably with a thread in it or you could put a nut on the back side and then just screw it screw it onto here in four places But, uh, so that's pretty good there because you got your, your wires coming out. And you could, you could put mounting holes depending on how you wanted to mount this. See, I put mine on the bottom. But you could put them on the side so it, it could tilt. If you want it on an angle or you can mount it, you know, somewhere here or somewhere on the top or even on the bottom, you can mount it onto something. Or you could just leave it loose and just hold it in your hand and push the buttons that way. So I'm going to redefine this a little bit. I got to go back and change the model and make this open. And uh, the only other thing I had wrong with this was that little blue knob that's over here. I didn't have that deep enough, so I had to go in there with a little Dremel tool and make that deeper. But other than that, it worked out really well. And I want to get the, uh, the file on this and try to get one of those uh, Dropbox things going on so I can share this with other people. Because uh, it worked out really well, and it'll save you a lot of time. I mean, you print this box, and I think it took like five hours on a 3D printer. But then it's then it's done. You don't have to make all these little brackets and put all the switches in there. You just use the switches off of the shield, and it works out real well. I'll take this apart. This cover I made on the back. I didn't 3D print that because it's a lot faster just to make it. I don't know how long that would have taken. But this isn't uh These are an uh, inch and five eighths long.
I just hollowed that out, give it a little more room for those wires. But this is a quarter inch thick, quarter inch thick. Oh, 375. Yeah, I made the step here quarter inch. Then there was a one eighth wall on the back side. So this box is a uh, uh, four inch uh, 300. By three and a quarter. Now, how this uh, Arduino and shield is held in place is that there's there's four mounting holes on the shield. There's four holes in there. Yeah, I only put three in because that's all I needed. See that little button screw right there? There's one there. There's one over there. But the uh, the shield is mounted to this box, and then the Arduino is just snapped onto the shield. And that's what holds it in a place. Now the screws on the shield go into this box so the buttons don't push it away. And there's no pressure on the uh, Arduino unit itself. So it just fits into that shield with just the, uh, the press fit of those uh, little square pin things. These guys. So it just snaps on there and like I said when I had to go in there and dig out that support material inside of here I had to come in from this side and uh, I was able to do it I mean it wasn't that difficult but it it didn't have to be that difficult if I had made this open so that there would no, be no support material in there except for the distance from here to here from here to the box but overall it worked out real good so I just wanted to show you that and I'll see you about getting some files because this this would come in handy for like I said a lot of other things that you want to use an Arduino on and you need a little control box and you can just use these buttons right here that are on the shield and you don't have to adapt anything to it quick and easy and effective can't get much better than that. Okay. Talk to you later.